Hey C Fox, Tuesday, May 11th, we have a fun workout for you for time. We have held them. It's five rounds of 400 meter run, 21 Russian dumbbell swings, and then nine straight pull ups. Yay. So if you guys haven't noticed, it is structured very similar to a classic benchmark workout from CrossFit Helen. A uh, good goal for this workout to complete would be maybe between 15 to 20 minutes to do. Okay. But let's talk about how this workout's gonna go. You're gonna have your dumbbell swings, okay? The dumbbell swings, single arm. We're gonna use our grip. I like to have my grip overlap this way, depending on how big your dumbbell is though too, you might have your fingertips right on it. But try to keep a good solid grip on this, okay? Because um, when we're exploding out here, you don't want the dumbbell to get out of control. And also too, we wanna make sure that we have a good enough grip to really focus on exploding with those hips, those hamstrings, to get that kettlebell to eye level, okay? Again, eye level today is not American, it's Russian. So we can go a little bit heavier than maybe what you guys are used to. Um, you're gonna wanna pick a kettlebell weight that you can at least do them unbroken. 21's a really good push to get unbroken with. And so depending on what you guys have, um, I would just try to find something you can guys can fight your way through these workouts to maintain the intensity during this one here, okay? So modifications for the dumbbell swing. If you guys don't have a dumbbell, you guys can just do a, um, a 15 burpees. You can do 15 box jumps, box jumps, excuse me. Or if you have a heavier kettlebell where you can go 21 and broken, try to shoot for 15. Okay. So if you have this one that's like, eh, like maybe you can do 10, try, we'll drop that down to 15 for this workout today for the rep repetitions. Okay. Um, we're make sure you guys maintain a nice flat back as well and really thinking about using a hip drive to get that kettlebell to eye level. Okay. Next, let's talk about the pull-ups. So if you guys have a strict, uh, you guys have a pull-up bar, it's nine strict. Really make sure you two guys when you're doing this, get your knuckles over that bar so you guys can engage your lats to use the full strength on this. Um, if you guys don't have strict pull-ups. Or anything like that you can reduce the repetitions you can use a band um, something that you can get those nine reps done in about a minute no more than that um, of course you always have your ring rows as well and if you don't have a pull-up bar or any of those uh, pieces of equipment you can do a um, bent over row so if you do have your barbell i don't have it guys just have the barbell out here squeeze your chest and back make sure you guys keep that back nice and flat don't let it roll out here squeezing everything back together for 18 reps, okay? And let's say we have just our dumbbell. You can use a single arm dumbbell row from here to the top. 18 as well, each side for that, for modifications. So that's the uh, pull-ups. Oh, let's talk about the run. Uh, the run is a big portion of this, right? 400 meters for five rounds. Um, how I would approach this run, whether you are an excellent runner or a runner who is not so well like myself, um, I would run at a pace where I know that I could just walk or run in from the gym, grab the kettlebell swing and go right into it. I don't want to push myself where I'm like, oh my gosh, I went too hard and spend 30 minutes or 30 seconds, 40 seconds trying to catch my breath to pick up that kettlebell. Okay. So if you made the first two rounds, see how you feel, um, get a good judge. If you can pick up the pace more, your third, fourth, and fifth round, but be comfortable enough to where you can just pick that kettlebell right up, okay? But don't be coming too comfortable either, right? So you gotta find those first two uh, paces in your, in, your, in your first couple rounds there, cool? But um, when we're looking to at the dumbbell swings, if it is something that you do have to break up, let's break them up very quickly. So think about a strategic thing that you can do. Um, maybe it's two sets of five and four, or you can do three sets of three, 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 or four, three, two, we're doing four sets of four, I'm sorry, four sets of three, two, two, two. Okay, so however you, make, however you make it manageable for yourself, just make sure that those reps are quick and fast if you guys can't go unbroken, but I would really try to push it uh, if you can. Okay, uh, warm up, talk about that. 100 meter run, simple, and then 10 side, single dumbbell remaining deadlifts. Look at that. So again, remaining deadlifts, you have a little more of a straighter knee, not fully locked out, but just, just crack it just a touch. Shoot those hips back. Bring it to the top. We're gonna do 10 each side. And then we're gonna do 20 
single arm bent over rows. Again, squeeze the shoulder blade, keep that core nice and tight. Three rounds. That's it, guys. Held them. Have fun. Good luck. Hope it's not too hot on Tuesday. And enjoy.